welcome. Welcome everybody from Freddie and myself. Oh, today I'm going to be using fabric scraps. Well, you could use paper, fabric scraps, and I'm going to be making some journal ephemera. I've got some little pins. So, yeah, let me show you. Let me show you how I make these. And this is a, it's a live chat. So I'll read the chat out to you, lovely replayers. And so you, so you know what's going on. <laughs> and you can just rest back or do your own thing. Yeah. Oh, and talking with the chat, here they come. Good afternoon, Kylie. Oh, is it windy up with you, Kylie? <laughs> so nice to see you. Come on in. Let's rest a while. There's our lovely Aunt Bex. I was with you, Becky, this morning, but I was at the desk just poking around getting things ready. I love the squares, by the way, Becky. I'm going to be painting. I'm going to share Becky's channel in the description box. I'm going to be painting my fabric this week. I can't wait. <laughs> Thank you, Becky, for your in inspiration. Oh, here's Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Good morning. Oh, so nice to see you. Oh, and there's lovely Trudy. Mm. You don't know how long you can stay, Trudy. It's so lovely to see you. You go gently with yourself. Definitely. Oh, good afternoon, Trudy. And there's Christopher. Good morning, Christopher. So nice to see you. Come on in. Come on in, everybody, and let's spend. Ah, oh, let's spend this time together. <laughs> oh, and there's Angela. Good morning, Angela. So nice to see you. You're there with your fairies. You, you. I expect your granddaughters at school. And there's, there's I. I need to go back already. There's lovely Caroline. Caroline, so nice to see you. I wonder what our song of the day is going to be, Caroline. Ah, oh, lovely to see you. All wrapped up and warm. <laughs> hmm. And Anjo. Oh, come on in, Anjo. We do hope that life's getting a little bit easier for you. So nice to see you, Anjo. I'm glad you found us. Yes, yes. And there's Sylvia. Good afternoon, Sylvia. I loved what you did with the prompts from last week. I'll leave the link down below if anybody who wants inspiration or ideas. I'm always inspired by Sylvia and her creativeness. Oh, randomness. Hi there. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, do I know your name, Randomness? Mm. And there's Harmony. Hi, Harmony. So nice to see you. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, come and rest a while with us, Harmony, and make some of your gorgeous art or just relax back. I know it's early in the States. I'm always inspired by Harmony's oh, art. It's like... It, your last the forest journal, it was like, go big or go home. Oh, it was wonderful, Harmony. Oh, lovely. Mm. Got some people down here that I've written down that we're going to be keeping on our hearts today as we stream. Oh, lovely. Let me just press this button here and then just see what I'm missing. There's Nads. Good morning, Nads. So nice to see you. I'm going to go, go right back here. Oh, and there's our lovely Barbara. Oh, we're all here. Colin's here. He might be telling the wrong time. Because what happens if, if, I, if I don't wind him in time, he gets, he stops. And I don't really like to touch the handles to the, what do you call them handles? What do you call them? The, the hands, hands on the clock, fingers, hands. So I, I let him do his own thing. We like to do our own thing, and so does Colin, our little cuckoo clock. If you're, if you're newish, you can hear him in the background. <laughs> Making it with Menglet. Oh, if you want to... 
go on, click on, um, that's making it with Ming, Minglet, is Lisa's new channel, brand new channel. Lisa's got one video and it's it's her mission statement, her hopes and dreams for her new channel. So if we could, no stress, but pop that in, I'll definitely be leaving a link down below. Oh, I've got that. Lisa N's new channel. I've got, I already had that written down, Lisa. So we can all hop along and, and join you on your journey with your new channel. I remember I sat over that side of the table and Beth was on the phone uh, when I did my first live. I'd never done a video and I did my first live. I, I had some subscribers because I'd been in other people's channels and Beth was on the phone saying, you can do it one more click because we couldn't get sound. Ben was there rigging up this camera you know on a ladder and Melanie was there and I did my first live and it was lovely really lovely it's lovely to start um a, a journey like that Lisa <laughs> there's, there's Carol good morning Carol you're spending lots of time with the family and little Loka look there's Freddie Oh, Loka loves Freddie. Come on in. There's Linda C. So nice to see you, Linda. Good evening to you. Mm. Now I have to click down here. Now, replayers, I, I will say hi to lots of people and then we'll get down to we'll get down to our creating. And Darlene, it's a little warmer for Darlene, but oh. You're all wrapped up indoors, I would imagine. Mm, there's our lovely Demi. Oh, so nice to see you. Come on in. Mm. Oh, Jean. Jean. I've got a treat later. I've got my lovely mug from Nick, Nikki that she bought last week. Isn't it lovely? I've got another mug over there for treat time. <laughs> another new one so yes watch this space there's a lovely Brenda A so nice to see you Brenda oh oh Gail is there any any warmer for Elvin to go out little dogs don't have the thick coats on do they mm. oh yes yeah, Harmony says yes, go big or go home. Oh, good evening. Sorry, I'm reading this all out of order. Good evening, Pam. Oh, and it's so warm for the midsummer where where Pam is. And we've got some lovely replayers as well. There's our lovely Malaya. Good morning, Malaya. Children off to school. It's after the weekend. The house. You know, it's a wreck from having everybody home. Oh, I I remember Malaya. You want to take a breath, but you have so much to do with your two young girls. Mm. Oh, Lynn says, happy staying in the hospital one more day. We've got you on our list here keeping you and hubby and the family in our hearts yes yes he's in the right place isn't he Lynn and then you'll be able to have the joy of looking after him when when you get him home yeah there's our lovely Kimberly Kimberly I haven't planned I haven't planned scraping paint yet but we're going to use the Mod Podge and I think I think you'll enjoy this let me just Finish saying my lovely good mornings to all these lovely people coming in. Mm. There's Mary. Hi, Mary. Oh, you haven't got a substitute teaching job today. Um, you work three days a week, don't you? Yes, it's so busy. Yeah, yes, it's challenging but rewarding, I would imagine, Mary. And your lovely friend, Mary Ann. We're keeping Mary Ann in our hearts today because she's at an appointment she messaged earlier. 
is our lovely Jane? All the way up there in Canada, snowy Canada. Hi, Jane. So nice to see you. Oh, no walk for Alvin. His little little legs are short and it gets it's all gets all stuck. Freddie loves this cool, cool and cooler weather. He runs around like a newborn. Mm. Yes, you're right, um, Lisa. It's nine o'clock. Now, did we manage to get Lisa's new channel in? Um, I'm, 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 I'm bravely scrolling down now. I don't like to miss people. You might need to shout to me. There's our lovely Dar. Good morning, Dar. Come on in, Dar. Come and have a nice seat. Plenty chairs to go round. Nads, yes. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. So, so kind of you. People are um, subscribing to, to Lynn, to Lisa's channel. Oh, thanks for that, Lynn. Mm. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, I think when I did my first stream, quite a few of you were there at the time. And and um, our lovely Laura came in and said, oh, I'll go and find some more people to come in. And she advertised it in a Facebook group. And I was thinking, oh, no, don't bring any more people. Oh, but I didn't. It was lovely. But, oh. <laughs> you want to get used to it first, don't you? There's our Amy. Oh, Amy, I did enjoy your video yesterday. I was making scones in the kitchen. Mm. Oh, you're going out to do chores and then you'll be back. <laughs> I don't know whether you heard my hello. I'll speak to you later. Birds to feed, animals to feed. There's our lovely Amy over there in the Doki Doki Forest. So nice to see you. And there you are. I miss saying good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so nice to see you. Oh, lovely. Now, I have sort of come to the end of that chat there. And think of the people coming in at the starts but let me know oh amy amy hippie chick was there because i can see her waving while i complimented her on her video <laughs> ah lovely mm, amy i know i made some cheese scones as well they're like your biscuits mm, here's our little pickles these are lovely little pickles little pickles has a quote for us today Eventually the rain stops and the sun breaks through the clouds. Let that be the hope that carries you through the storm. Now, little pickles, we've had a literal storm outside. And I know that life is quite stormy and, and dark. It can be. So Little Pickles, I always say it, doesn't say these things to us lightly. She's coming to offer us hope. Eventually the rain stops and the sun breaks through the clouds. Let that be the hope that carries you through the storm. Ah, Malaya, absolutely. You go ahead and mention the live sale, definitely. Definitely tell us all about it. Pop the details in the chat and message me if you get time. Busy mum. And I will put that in the description box below too. Mm. Trudy's got delicious buttery Scottish shortbread. You can't beat that, can you, Kylie? <laughs> we love it. Mm. Oh, the crumble newlyweds. Oh, do you know, I think they're in the lounge. You would have thought they could have made it for the stream. Oh, I know. They're just relaxing. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you're knitting with your coffee and you're making cows. They'll keep you nice and warm, Jane. I've been doing a lot of knitting. 
and you're oh you're oh you're what you're making up your own pattern yes karen karen hi ice karen's waving to me with pink hands i missed you earlier i had it in my little head but didn't say it oh karen so nice to see you Hmm. Thank you, Becky. I did. Thank you so much. It's Becky W. We've got Aunt Bex, Becky and Becky W. We like to have two Beckys in, don't we? Hmm. There's Lob Tree. It's Icy in Illinois, if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> oh, lovely. Hmm. I know, Christopher. Oh, we bad, aren't we always saying other oh, yummy treats we're having? Oh, I've got some from Sandra next door for our treat time. There's Alison, Al. So lovely to see you. There we are. There's the details for the live sale on the 4th of February. Yes, yes, for our lovely Janet USA. That's it, lovely. There's Pamela B. So nice to see you. Mm. Oh, Becky's, um, Jane, Becky's mum always called Calnex, Calnex. <laughs> and she wondered why anyone would want to wear something named that. <laughs> she had her own language, Becky. Mm. And you've got a, a, an email address there. If you want to note that down, if you want to take it out, you can. But it might be your business. That's probably your business email, isn't it? Mm. So last week, last week on one of our prompts, this is, oh, this is going to be, this is being deliciously relaxing. What we're doing, I was saying to them, to make... Thank you, Colin. Wrong time, but we won't, we won't hold it against him. I'm going to make these little journal ephemeras. They're made out of fabric and they've got tissue paper on the back. I'm going to make these for our journals. There's a little, there's a little Mr. Crumbles ready to go in the prompt book. And of course, I've made, you know me, I've made some little heart ones. So let me show you how we made this. I just wanted last week to, to use my Mod Podge and glue. That's why I did it, because it's just so relaxing. So relaxing. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm. And, but I think before I start, it would be nice to light a candle. Vintage Craft Corner, you come on in. I, I feel I, sh I, I, I need to know your name. I think I do know it, but can't remember. Vintage Craft Corner, hi. Sis. So nice to see you. Come right in. So nice to see you. Mm. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> I'll know as soon as you say. Ah, dawn. It's dawn. Vintage craft corners is dawn. Ah, oh, lovely. Yes, it's a cousin to Mr. Crumbles. Absolutely. He needs help from the, he needs help from the cafe. But what we're going to do. So I've got some people down here that have been on our hearts. And I know that you've got people on your hearts. We've got people that you know, your friends, or yourself, or people in our community. So I'm going to light the candle. And it's just, it's just a way, and we're all different. So we're all going to approach this in a different way. And no, there's no right or wrong way to keep people in our hearts ah, and no matches mm. let me let me uh, see oh i didn't get matches well there we are let me 
can't have a wheel candle. They've run out. So, I think, did I bring one of these? I don't think I did. Here we are. It's a little candle here. And we're going to we can concentrate on that picture. We don't have to have a real candle. We can just quiet myself down and think, think about the people that are on our hearts. Blow it out. It's nice to, I do always say that it is nice in this busy, busy world to not always be dashing and rushing. That's not always easy, is it? But yeah. Heather, so nice to see you. Come on in. And there's Nancy. Come on in, Nancy. So nice to see everybody. Oh, lovely. So I've got here, last week I had greaseberry paper. But today I've got deli paper. And all I'm doing is, this is what I was doing last week. I put the glue underneath and the glue on the top. Oh, and it was, oh, such, such a joy. Such a joy. It's a great way to use all our little scripts and scraps, isn't it? It's our fizzy wig. Mm. Frida, so nice to see you. Thank you for that. <laughs> Oh, thank you, everyone. Hmm. It's a lovely community, and I, I'm just so honoured to be part of this lovely community. Hmm. Fred is going to be off to the post office this week. Yeah, yes, it's just a case of doing doing that really that's just a little I was doing that last week and oh it just is so relaxing if that's as far as far as you get that's what I was doing last week these brushes will need to go in in hot water or I'll be in hot water <laughs> Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Um, Lisa is sitting with her daughter. There's no candle, but she's got a warm heart. That was quite, yeah, I, in some ways things happen for a reason. And we don't need to light a candle, do we? Literally, we just need to slow ourselves down sometimes. Mm. Kylie puts it beautifully. Gentle hugs for you and your daughter, Lisa. So beautifully good. Mm. Oh, Dawn's making her own Birds and Blooms book. Just a bunch of your favourite flowers and birds. Oh, that's wonderful. How be gorgeous to, to flick through, won't it? Alison, hi, so nice to see you. Oh, I've said hello to you, haven't I, Alison? Yes, yes, currently walking to the garage to collect your car. Oh, catch up with you again soon, Alison. Yes, yes. Mm. 
so that what happened then is I was left with this paper I did it really more as a therapy it was just just the gentleness of the paper scraps but this was fabric scraps but then I realized oh it's quite hard oh it doesn't feel that good because I went over it with the glue I have one here and it's nice and soft it's got just the glue underneath and when it dried I went round with the sewing and that's quite soft so I thought this has been a joy to make what can I use it for hi just me so nice to see you from Northern Ireland oh yes and I do know your name on the tip of my tongue too welcome back so nice to see you there's Susan M so nice to see you mm. a moment of focus exactly Susan M definitely Yes, yes. The candle is something to focus on. Light is quite symbolic, isn't it? Mm. You're, you've got your go bag with glue, paper and fabrics and needles. Oh, very wise. I love a to go bag. Yes, definitely. Mm. Hi, Jodie. So nice to see you. It's lovely that you're catching the live. It's early in Florida, you see, isn't it? Mm. Oh. oh, don't let me miss you. <laughs> oh, lovely. Mm. It is nice. We chat, don't we, Jody, in the comments? So then I thought, oh, that's what made me think, oh, I'll make the journal charms because they're nice and hard. So let me just go through though my little process. So I ended up with lots of this fabric. It was on greased with paper and then I put some, you could put pattern paper, I put tissue paper on the back there. So of mine and then I sat at my desk maybe it was last Wednesday I've got all this fabric and it dried hard so then I had my lovely niece Katie on a FaceTime so I put her there and then I got my gold and I just oh I was sat for ages with the gold making patterns and let me show you just all these little dots and stripes and oh just being gentle i think the gluing and then the painting oh let's take a breath just slows us right down mm. let me just come back and i i see that somebody's put something in orange oh dawn oh that's so nice it's it, it's lovely to start the week with one another i'm so grateful and we've got lovely gentle listeners too i understand about gentle listening sometimes it's not because we're um, well, could be. It means sometimes we're getting on with the cooking and the chores. Oh, yes. And can you see that one slows down? Use what paint you want, or you can make, you can use markers. I was using markers as well on some some of the white bits. I just, oh, always when you come to use it <laughs> on a video or live, it doesn't work. Just to make the fabric dotty. No right, no wrong. It's just, 
pure relaxation. Mm. Let me come down here. Moira, it's my, I can't, Moira, yes. <laughs> I remember, oh, of course, Moira. It, it takes a while for me to, mm, when I review the chat, hopefully, if it um, renders, I will be able to write that down. I find writing things down helps as well. <laughs> Oh, lovely. Mm. Yes, so almost nothing new. Thank you. Yes, Malaya's coming in with information about the live cell. Mm. Thank you, Jodie. <laughs> oh, dear. And there's Jasper. Jasper. Oh, how are you, Jasper? Last week, was it somewhere you shared you were in, in a chat? Um, yeah. how are you feeling now? Oh, well, do you know we have weeks, don't we? Or days or moments, don't we? Well, we're just not feeling the full ticket. Yeah. Mm. Jen, so nice to see you. Jen just got Poscas. And when you sent them back, they wouldn't stop gushing ink. Really? Oh, I don't have that problem i'm glad you sent them back i'm sorry you were disappointed will you try again with another company gosh i've been nothing but pleased with with mine i treated myself to a few and it's only the black one that i have to replace because i i use it so often and the nice thing about if you do happen to jam the nib up with a Posca, you can turn it round, it comes out, and you can get new, um, new there. I just wipe my hands on my Becky crochet here. Mm. That does sound, I'm sorry you had that, gosh, yes. So... You can imagine just, I don't know how long the FaceTime was. Sometimes these FaceTimes can be an hour, an hour and a half. We were quite happy until Katie said, oh, let's go into the lounge, onto Netflix and watch some friends. <laughs> so we, that's what we did. <laughs> mm. Oh, does it, Barbara? Oh, it's quite a common problem, says Barbara, although she's never had that with hers. Oh. Let's pop that back over there. And then you end up, I haven't done much, but you end up with the fabric all doodled on. Can you see the gold? Hmm, a little, maybe. You can see the dots and the black dots and the gold. Hmm. Julia. Oh, oh, and Anjo. Oh, there's a little fairy winging its way to you. That's so lovely, Anjo. Mm. Oh, do I store my Posca pens up or down? I'm, I'm, I'm afraid mine are in the jar whoop, over there, and I, I store them that way. So the, the nibs at the top, uh, but these ones, the white and the black go round with me in my pencil case because they're the ones I, I use quite often. Lisa may have some advice for us. Oh, Sylvie had the same issue with Oscar. Mm. You're supposed to, to lay them down on their side. Oh, yes. I remember Dee Dee saying that. Um, she stores hers. Yeah, you are. I know. That's true. Um, are you going to try just the, the fabric and the, yeah. If you get, if you get no further, this, they, they could make ATC cards. Or, or you don't have to make them into anything. They could just become a journal page. 
couldn't they? I mean, I, I was just doing it because that's what I felt like doing, using using the the glue and then using the paint and the poskas. <laughs> Our lovely Marty. Oh, help yourself to a snack as Marty wheels the trolley through, saying, anything for the trolley, dears, as she wends her way over to the comfy chair in the corner there. <laughs> a whole smorgasbord. <laughs> oh, lovely. Mm. Oh, cats got some. Cat loves the Fosca pens. Have to be careful and not pump the nib when they're new just push it down once and wait for the paint it bleeds through the nib okay oh it's really good we get art advice here from one another as well oh we're here to encourage one another and to so we encourage one another to take it slowly aren't we mm. brenda took a slice of pizza Pizza for breakfast, good plan. Mm. Mm. Oh, Malay's bought them but not opened them. Mm. So then I made myself a little template. It's a little owl template. And then I just popped it on the fabric any anywhere really oh don't use my fabric scissors that's a becky aunt beck's idea because it's when you're creating it's easy to it's easy to grab them them isn't it mm. it's 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 good to get all this have yet to pick up the crochet watching the Frost slowly disappear from the little shed. Now, Becky, there was one of my, in my magazine, when I was cutting up for a self-care little zine that I'm making. And one of the things was stare at the ceiling. And I thought, oh, that is interesting. Just a time, just a, hmm. That, I mean, thoughts come into your head and you can't help it, but just a time just to, to sit and do nothing, to sit and watch the frost melt. That's, yeah, so I, think, I think that would be called a form of meditation, but maybe sometimes as soon as you say meditate, one says meditation, you think, oh, you could think, oh, no, I, I, I'm not very good at that. But a good way, maybe, to say is just stare at the frost melting or stare at the ceiling. Oh, it's wonderful. Wonderful advice there, Becky. Thank you. Jasper, it's so lovely. It's cosy as bugs in a rug. <laughs> Kylie says, if you end up with Posca that floods, then, then when I need to use it, I let it flood and then use it almost like a dip pen, saves it going to waste. Oh, yes, Kylie, because sometimes, yeah, I think as Kat says, not, not to pump it too much, but if you do, yes, use it like a dip pen. All this wonderful advice from everybody. I love it. There we are. Here we have another cousin owl. Or you might like to just get... Draw yourself a heart template or create a wonky heart. Mm. Jen might try again sometime. The great thing about Posca paint, you can't have everything, can you? There's so many supplies. I do enjoy the Posca paints because they go over lots of surfaces and tend to be able to write over mixed media. Mm. Helen. Oh, Helen, good afternoon. So nice to see you. I saw Julia saying hi to you. How are you and your fairy little joy? <laughs> mm.
Yes, yes, I think it's the word sometimes, Lisa, isn't it? Yes, yes, it, we could call it reflecting, definitely. So there we go, I've got a little heart shape and you can see it's covered in the gold. And then with the same, what I did was cut a round circle. Now you could say these are no sew. I'm going to sew the eyes on. But if you want to glue them, you do you. And you you might find other shapes to do. I've made I made a little fox actually. I made a little fox there. Why not? <laughs> oh, is that in the Posca finer pens? I I haven't got the finer ones. I've got in Posca. Interesting. The finer ones would be handy, wouldn't they, for mixed media, though? Yes. So I end up with the eyes, and you can either draw your eye on, or I'm going to make mine into patterns. So then what I did was made an outline, because, it, because it's journal ephemera. Or, or, it could be for your bag or your a bag that you're not going to take outside. It could go on knitting or crochet or sewing bag. Oh, oh! I think I'm going to put mine on WYSIWYG. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Looks nice there. There we are. And yeah, just go around with Posca pen. Once it's nice and dry, you could put these through your sewing machine if you want to. Julia's coming over here on Thursday, and you're going to be using Serafina, aren't you, to do some sewing? Serafina's my vintage sewing machine. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. So, yes, pop the eyes. So, I've just drawn round it with the Posca pet, and I've got a needle thread here. Thank you to my little pin cushion here. Hmm. And just so sew them on. You can't go wrong, really. Or glue them if you want to make them a no sew. Your fingers might not be working properly, or you don't want to thread the needle. You just want to glue it, and I think that's absolutely wonderful. Mm. I'm missing stair. Hi, Steph. I can see people saying hi to you, but I, I can't see. Maybe it hasn't come up on my chat yet. Oh, what welcome, welcome, Steph. Stephanie. Ah, oh, it'll get you'll come up again in a minute. And then what I did was tie a knot, just put the needle through. So I started off on so the eye. It's like a I don't know, I always love to do that. Cut that with the scissors. Ah, what I thought of doing, I need to just do a little bit round of that round there. That looks better. And I sewed a little eye on there. <laughs> hmm, thank you for all those snacks, Marty. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Hmm. And let's pop the other eye on. Let first of all let's go round there. It's very wonky, but we love wonky. So basically, this is just a way to use up my oh, it's like art therapy paper, really. Yeah. 
if I've missed you coming in, let me know. If you can see I've missed anyone, let me know. Or if you've got the um, time to pop in again and say, oh, oh, look at that. That one, I tied the knot and didn't glue it on. So there we are. I'll glue it on. There are no mistakes, are there here? Just happy accidents. I think having fun with this paper was like a happy accident. Oh, got way too much glue. There we are. Oh, lovely. Mm. Wonderful. Pop that on there. And the next thing is just to make a little beak. Find a little bit of the leftover. And snip it down like that, like that, and oh, I'm gluing this one on. Look at that. I sewed it on the other one. There we are. I've glued it on. There. <laughs> and he's oh. Of course, his eyes fallen off. Oh, don't worry. Um, I just need to hold it on for a little bit longer. There we are. There he is. <laughs> Janet Kay, so nice to see you. Come on in. Come on in. So nice to see you. I just caught you there. I was just, I was just making an owl's eye. <laughs> hmm. Estrada, so nice to see you. Come on in. Good morning. Morning, so nice to see you. Well, Julie has been messaging me. Um, people that I've been missing. Thank you. I missed your. I missed your messages. Sorry. Oh dear. What am I like? Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely, lovely, or hearts, or just in, it could take you a few weeks, darling, to do, enjoy making the paper. Should we call it fabric paper? So that's that. Should we make a heart? Oh, I know what I did. I'm lucky enough to have one of these little hole punches. I would say if you do have one, don't get your hands caught in it. Do it mindfully. That's Julia. Oh no, yeah, I just I always look just in case. Oh, pop your needle back. Be mindful of things and yeah, that's it. Pop that there. And I've got these little what do you call these? These little hole reinforcers. You can use little hole reinforcers like that, the sticky ones. Eyelets, there we are. If we let ourselves slow down sometimes, the words come to us, don't they? Mm. Hi, Paula, so nice to see you. Good afternoon, so nice to see you. And there's, we've got Angela T. So nice to see you, Angela, so lovely. Paper Rick. <laughs> oh, dear. And then you just make sure you haven't got your hands in the way. And then I just punch that down. And then I can get a pin from here. See if I've got a safety pin in here. Oh, I haven't got a safety pin. I got one on here. I'll find one after the stream. Sometimes being in a, oh, there's a pen. It's just nice to slow down and find our inner child. Because our inner child would have been sorting these like treasure and thinking, oh, there's a pen. But, oh, I'd like to use that. Pull tab sometime as well. Let's put that to one side. 
always nice to search out treasure. Oh, there's a button. I used to have a grandma with all the little drawers, wooden drawers, and we used to, we used to look for treasure. A brooch bag. Oh, just never know what you'll find when you sort through things. Do you? Mm. Good morning, Janet B. So nice to see you. There's three Janets in the room. <laughs> oh, Janet Canada. So nice to see you. Lovely. In the background, before I distracted myself, it's it's fine to get distracted because this is this is playtime. If you start one thing, it's like me with the prompts. You start one thing and then, oh, oh, okay, try rebooting, Kylie. Janet froze on me. Oh, okay. Go back and just kicking down the cobblestones. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, did I go out for a while? Or well, you came in and... It's like that sometimes, isn't it? There's our lovely Patty. Oh, what are you planning today? <laughs> oh, our girls want to get their aprons out after seeing you make them with your fairies. Oh, always fun over at Patty's place. <laughs> oh, do go and visit Patty. Mm. Oh, you're back, Kylie. Good, good. <laughs> so lovely. Mm. Yeah, so there we are. That's my journal. And you can make the wobbly heart. Let me just show you. It's literally just like this. Mm. Just wonky. And then, yes, yes, the joy, just sheer joy of um, creating. I'll probably make that one later. I'll put him up here. Caroline, did you did you um, name our little owl there? We do like our names, don't we? And did I miss it, Caroline? You might have to message me or put it back in. I'm back, Jen. Mm. I don't know what you missed. <laughs> you might have missed me sorting through my little jar of goodies. Mm. George, you want him to be called George, so George he will be called. Let's put a name, put his name on. Sol Western, welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Mm. La, 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 feeling groovy. <laughs> mm. What, well, George? There you go. There you go. His name is George. A little Prince Owl, <laughs> little Prince George. <laughs> That's lovely. Hmm. There we are. Pop you on there, George, and we've got another one for our page later because we're going to need that for our prompt page later. Now, just before, so I put tissue paper on the back, but I'm getting sticky. I'm getting more sticky. Hmm. Put that there. You might say, Janet, I haven't got any patterned tissue paper. So let me show you. Joy of joy. I've got some tissue paper, white tissue paper. I'm always so pleased with packaging. <laughs> I love it. And I made myself some spotty tissue paper. So I think that would look nice on the back of our, our, or you can doodle. <laughs> so let's just make some, make some tissue paper, just in case you haven't got anybody. I love 
wonky and wobbly too, Mary. Mm. You've got so many. Yes, yes. You've got so many. I know it's nearly Mrs. Teapot's time. Thank you, Barbara. It's no use relying on our on our Colin, is it, to help us? Black paint, you can use whatever paint you want. More packaging. I've got some of these in packaging. And let's get some paper here as a palette. I know, Patty and her fairies made such lovely aprons. <laughs> oh, lovely. Poscas are fun on tissue paper. You've done leaf doodles, haven't you, on tissue paper, Kat? Mm. It's amazing what you can do with um, tissue paper, isn't it? Mm, definitely. It's lovely to welcome you, um, Sol Weston. There you are. A little bit of black paint there. And this just gets like that. I made myself, out of packaging, I made myself, can you see, a little stencil. I drew some shapes. Shall we see what that looks like? Because I made the dotting. Let's see. It just random. And then I use, I didn't use like a craft knife. I just is it it's let's just see what it's like oh marty's getting mm. oh caroline's got new watercolor pens oh wonderful oh you'll enjoy that in your in your sketchbook oh how lovely let me leave a link to caroline's i have in my last video caroline has been sitting cozily on the setting with her with her little sketchbook sketching and watercolor because it's quite cold where you are so it's nice to be cozy indoors isn't it caroline let's see let's see what my little stencil oh okay fine it's random random shapes there we are, and you can just, yeah, just come in with, with more. But these were these are quite good, these little packaging things, and then you can snip off the end when it gets a bit so if it gets a bit hard when it dries. I wonder if we can find the video where Kat was doing um, tissue paper. That would be fun, wouldn't it, to leave down below. Mm. Christopher likes to use tissue paper, the base for his illustrations. Well, Christopher, it's funny you should say that. We were, we were out for tea the other, the other day. Oh, it's quite messy, but as soon as you tear it up, it'll be fine. And one of my friends said she did her degree, her thesis, she's garden design, and she did her, her whole the thesis on yellow tissue paper using acrylic paint and and fine pens. I said, was it special tissue paper? She said, no, literally just ordinary tissue paper from the newsagent. And yeah, amazing. And then she said, all the others, all the others were looking at her saying, why are you using tissue paper? They were using planning paper. And then she she said a cardigan pocket and she used to I said, how did you store it? I was really interested. She said she used to fold it like a mat, you fold it every time, pop it in her pocket and run to class. And then she said, Yep, yeah, it went it it went down well. She said she got a first. <laughs> so humble 
more tissue paper. I want to experiment. Well, I suppose I am with acrylic paint. I am using acrylic paint. Oh, how interesting. I want to use it more. So I was I was thrilled when some things came wrapped in tissue paper. Mm. It's like a cow. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Barbara, do you remember that time we had... um? texture paste and I made my own texture paste and Kat said it looks like a cow pattern it did <laughs> I've done it on my so then I turned the page in and interview put cows on the page <laughs> it looked like we we're down on the farm didn't it oh dear so there we are there we have it it's not and I suppose this will get strong a little bit stronger because it's got paint on it I pop that over there so just giving so, and I'm going to snip the end here, and then I'll be able to use that again. Oh, you have a roll of yellow tissue paper. Oh, how interesting. Do you use it in your art, Anne? Well, putting different mediums on it. Mm. <laughs> Cows with cow necks. <laughs> Becky, like Becky's grandma used to say. Mm. Oh, thank you. Um, it's just nice to use packaging, isn't it? Who was scraping paint in the video? Oh, it was our Amy from Doki Doki Forest. You know we normally use the credit card thing to scrape. She was using the palette knife, and I thought, oh, it's, if we do inspire one another. Oh, look, Jean's put Kat's video in. That's fantastic. Yes. And Marty's put Lisa's channel in. Thank you so much, Lisa's new channel. Thank you so much. Mm. Tammy, Tammy, good morning. So nice to see you. Oh, lovely to see you. Thank you for popping in. Hi, Bitty Penny. So nice to see you. Come on in. Oh, lovely. Mm. Yes, well, it's good evening for Tammy, isn't it? Mm, yes. Oh, so I'll put that to dry. You, I end up with bits everywhere, but oh, that's half of the course. And that we can rip that up. Let's have a go at ripping that up next week. Trying our Posca pens as well. Should we just before? Oh, it's one minute past Mr. Teapot's time. Let's just. How, how strong tissue paper can be. It doesn't drag at all. Wonderful. And then, of course, we can use these. Mm. The joy of doodling. Mm. Wonderful. Always a joy. I just need to, but oh, yeah, there you go. I flooded it because it wasn't working. Yeah, that's my fault. So I'm going to do what Kylie Koo does. Fetch myself a brush. Can you see there where I flooded it? And, oh, lovely. I think with a brush you might get, Oh, how nice. You might get, it might look more organic. Oh, how lovely. Just brushes from the hardware store. Lovely. Gosh, I know we're, we're on Mrs. Teapot's time now. This is, ah, oh, Mrs. Teapot's is over there saying, come along, it's tea time. These people need a relax and, mmm. Wow, this is almost dry. Ah, oh, and it, this we're going, might tear it up. Gosh, I'm not even looking at chat. I'm in the zone. Oh, oh, thank you, Marty, for putting Caroline's link in to her beautiful, beautiful sketchbook. It's all dry now. Just make making the most of 
thanks for saying about the post pens. And that was my fault. That was user error. Yeah, I did. I did flood it. Did it stand it up. Oh, no, sideways. Sideways, Jenna. Wow. Gosh. That will need a wash as well. Because it's acrylic paint, will it? Yeah, I think so. Put that there. Whew. Lovely. I'll show you, but it it's it's like art for art's sake that we do, not for people to see, just just pure play. Um there we are. <laughs> just play. So, Safia, hi, so lovely to see you. Mm. Oh, we were fine here. Thank you. My little olive tree just popped it over, but nothing. Sophia, were you okay? Mm. Or well with you. We always worry about our roofs, don't we? Mm. Oh, Bitty Penny, it's so lovely when people share the links, isn't it? But no, no pressure. Yeah, no pressure. That's it. Don't worry, Lynn. We we read Taiwanese. Doesn't um you don't have to write everything. We we get the gist. So yeah. Um thank you, thank you so much. Right, so yeah. Yeah, that, that's just by way of saying, have a little play. <sighs> oh, right. You didn't want to, you, one of your cats wanted to go out in the gale force. Yes, but I know. <laughs> mm. Oh, no, no worries. You be you, Lynn. You be you. Yeah, yeah, if you want to take it out and put it back in again, you, you do that. You be you. Mm. Oh, take care, Linda. Night, night. You sleep well. Mm. Oh, you've got to collect your cat from the vets. Yeah, okay. I can feel, Linda, you're in the US. Why am I thinking you're in um, Australia? Linda, what am I like? <laughs> Hope everything's okay, Linda. Let me know. We'll chat later. Hmm. Yeah, it was very windy, Janet. Yeah, we had gales, but um, everything stood the test. Stood the test. We're going to give our young Freddie over here his little snack. This is about time too. There's no room on the chair. I had to kneel at your feet, Freddie. <laughs> there we are. Oh, King Freddy. <laughs> King Frederick of Croydon. Nice. Mm, very nice. Oh, let's get that snack. Oh, dear. Oh, sorry for that loud noise for my lovely, gentle listeners. Mm. Mm. Like that there. Right, let's... Oh, Put this over. There's virtual snacks on the on the trolley. And if you have the time, Lisa M, have you got a little snacks with you while you're with your daughter? Hmm. I know, I know. It was um, windy, wasn't it? Um, Kylie, mm. Mm. ah, lovely. Right, I'll put that one there. That's got cold. Yeah, Lynn, Linda Coates, you're, you're Linda Coates. That's it. You're from Australia, but what? Yes, <laughs> it doesn't take a lot to confuse Janet. I know, I know. Mm. Well, I've got a new flask. Sam bought me a new flask. It's retro because we used to have them in tartan, didn't we? So I'm very pleased with it. Mm. The, the, I think the, the winds have gone. It was just a little windy when we went out for a walk. Mm. Oh, Jane, you had to go and shovel. Mm. You did see the owl, oh Jane. You get warm now. You, you'll suffer a nice hot drink and shoveling snow is very, very energetic. So yes, yes. Mm. 
So let's undo this. Oh, it's so lovely. Thank you, Sam. Sam is good. He knows things I like. I know. Mm. Janice has just finished breakfast. Janice, nice to see you. You come on. Thermos, you have the same make, Thermos. Yes, it's Thermos. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I've got, I've got my Thermos. You've seen it before, the one from the 80s. Yes, and my mum and dad used to have the red tartan one. I've got my tea. Right, now, Jean, brace yourself. And others as well. Mug of the day. It's Alice. It's Alice in Wonderland. I was given an Alice in Wonderland mug and spoon. <laughs> oh. oh, Becky, which Becky? Is it Becky W? Thanks, Paula. Isn't it lovely? Mm. Oh, Darlene's back. Oh, your granddaughter was showing you a picture of your un her unborn child. Darlene, great grandmother. Oh, congratulations, Darlene. Isn't that amazing? Wow, gosh, that's lovely. Mm. Jane, is it your birthday? Let me, where are you, Jane? Is it today, Jane? Should we sing? Let's sing. Oh, there's, there, it, maybe that's out. It was Becky. Oh, Bex. I was just seeing which Becky it was that was going. Missed that altogether and then found some other chat. <laughs> you want a closer look? Oh, I know, Caroline. I thought at the time Caroline will love this. Quite a lot of people. I think Anne Lair did and Beth did an Alice in Wonderland journal. Oh, how, how lovely. It was yesterday. Let's sing happy birthday to Jane. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jane. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Lovely, happy birthday for yesterday. <laughs> oh. I love this tea. I, it is one of my favourites. And the boys call it now, Sam makes sure and orders me um, this tea. And it's delivered. <laughs> so lucky. <laughs> and... Um, this is one of my favourites, and they call it streaming tea. <laughs> I have nighttime tea, streaming tea. What am I like? Oh, dear. Jane, happy birthday. I'm glad that you can spend your, your, it's, let's say it's still your birthday. Yes. Mm. Well, happy young birthday. Isn't that what Pooh Bear would say? Isn't that in one of the stories? And it's got... A little rabbit on the back. What does he say? I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. And it's got like a little clock. Bit like you, Colin. Bit late. <laughs> ah, dear. I'll just take my tea bag out. And for a snack, what's everybody else got? I've got today. Isn't it? Did I do my hands? Let me just do my hands. Oh, there's Kelly. <laughs> so nice to see you, Kelly. Oh, lovely. Mm. Today's a better day. Good, Jane. I'm glad that you can spend this time with us. Mm. Steaming tea from Alice for, for our unbirthday party. Unbirthdays. <laughs> No, Becky, our birthdays are from um, Alice in Wonderland. Wow, how amazing. I knew it was in um, some children's literature. I love children's literature. Mm, how lovely. Mm. Your snack today is chocolate Rolo muffin. 
Lovely. Mm. Do you remember the advert, Kelly? And it used to say that Rolos are round trees and they're chocolate with caramel in the middle. And um, the advert was, do you love someone enough to give them your last Rolo? <laughs> oh, dear. Mm. You're a great grandma, Brenda, as well. Oh, congratulations. A four-year-old great-grandchild. How lovely. Mm. It does sound nice, doesn't it, Paula? Mm. It does sound like a poo thing and on birthday. I know, Jenna, it does. Mm. Kylie had a salted caramel biscuit by Walker's. Gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely good. There's Janice. What are you? Um... Oh, Janice. Uh, Janice, are you a great grandma too? Hmm. Dawn, they are night walkers. It's a nice make. Thank you, Colin. <laughs> Sandra nicked in from next door and she made me gingerbread. Gingerbread little Teddy and a gingerbread can't resist it. A gingerbread heart. Mm. <laughs> oh, and, and Janet's a great grandmother as well. Mm. 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 Oh, we need an Alice song. What Alice songs are there? I know there's a poem. Is that in one of them? The is there, is there something in a lobster? I love that. Let's bring those books down. We should do a bit of reading. Mm. What, what is that poem? It's like it's a bit like a nonsense poem. I love it. Mm. Lovely. Mm. Oh, this is lovely just to be together, isn't it? Mm. A bookmark here. There's just people in this magazine, beautifully relaxed. There's the lady standing on the steps, and there's someone baking bread. Mm. Mm. Go ask Alice when she's 10 feet tall. I need to know this song. Poor Alice, when she was just small. You know the lyrics. You're singing along. <laughs> mm. Amy's got two teenagers. Mm. The Jabberwocky. Oh, no, I love that. Oh, the Jabberwocky. I remember when um, Sam had to memorise that for school. Oh, yes, let's do some poem reading sometime. Mm. These are people's dreams. Sometimes our dreams are just something we mull over in our head. I'd love to design a library and hire someone to build it with a sliding ladder and a circular staircase that leads to a tiny loft filled with cosy corners in which to read. Isn't that lovely? Isn't it lovely? It's nice to mull over things in our minds and imagine. Oh, Alice sung that song for the flowers. Oh. Mm. When I pause, it means I'm reading the chat here. Mm. Oh, it's fine then, Jane, because Mary S says here, birthdays should be celebrated at least for a week and often a month. Or oh, all year. There we are. We heard it here from Mary S. That's lovely. The song is actually called White Rabbit. You, Caroline, you did, didn't you do in your songbook? Or was that your Alice journal? 
the song of the white rabbit. Correct me if I'm wrong, and we can you can send me a link and I can put that in. Caroline, you did white rabbit, didn't you? A while back. Hmm. Yes, says Jane. <laughs> Yes, we, we are men and women of all different um, ages here, aren't we? Definitely. Ah, mm. oh, dear. Grace Slick. Have I heard of Grace Slick? I haven't. Mm. You made a music journal. And you forgot you did. So I have heard that song. There will be a link in the description box below. If you're a replayer, stop this and go to that <laughs> oh, to give this song some context. You sent me the link. Barbara, thank you so much. Mm. Mm. And we don't mind typos, do we? Nads. As I said that, I, I I thought, yes, I need to get my act together there, definitely. Mm. We're all people, aren't we, of different ages? Yes. Mm. That Cheryl, so nice to see you. Mm. You, you've just had a live. Cheryl goes live, don't you? And up before breakfast, and you then you could pop over to see us. So nice to see you, Cheryl. Always lovely to see you. Mm. Mm. My lovely mug. What else are people dreaming about? This lady says, I want to get back to making my own bread. Slack off over the summer. And now that fall is here, well, we'll have to say winter. Or for our Australian friends, they're in their summer. When fall is here, bread is on my mind. There is just something about flour, water, yeast, and the whole kneading process that is so satisfying. There is nothing like the smell of freshly baked bread right out of the oven. People are sharing their little hopes and dreams here and I just like to read some of those out pop that down there mm. let's have a look shall we do some shall we do some art prompts now if you want you don't have to do all the prompts not at all <laughs> you can do one or none mm. during these lives oh I don't we often sing. I was thinking, I don't know that song during these lives. We usually have a mug of the day and we usually have a song of the day, don't we? Mmm, Nads, isn't it? Mmm, bread is lovely. You're making it today or tomorrow, you'll have a lovely smell. Mmm, mmm. And then Caroline comes in the song, people, people need people are the luckiest people on earth. I can't, I, is that a Frank Sinatra song? And I know that I know it, but I can't, I just can't get it in the forefront of my head. Mm, I, I might be wrong. Janice loves making ginger cookies. Oh, ginger cookies are so lovely. And they're so to nibble on ginger cookies if you don't feel that well. Mm. Oh, we all need to know what Jean's mug of the day is today. Does it match your clothes, Jean? My mug today is your Valentine Siamese cats. Jean's getting ready. <laughs> oh, that's lovely, Jean. Mm. Hi, Barbara S. So nice to see you. Barbara, no, you're not saying hi to Barbara S because I pick up on what you're saying. No, Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand. Oh, okay. That, yeah. 
Yeah, that's a Barbra Streisand song. Mm. Jacuzzi of the day, a large mug. <laughs> oh, this is quite dainty, isn't it? Mm. Now, let's see. Let's go in. This is from last week's prompt. Let's go into Mr. Cousin Crumbles. His Cousin Crumble. Cousin Crumbles Art Room. Oh, lovely. We had Art Room last week, didn't we? What have we got? What's Mr. Crumbles? Let's, first of all, let's pin him to here because he likes to be, he would like to welcome you into his art room. <laughs> what have we got? Oh, there's plenty seats to come and sit down. He would like to open it up for all of us. I think it's in a tree in the woods and you can find it. Even in his bathroom, he's done some painting on the walls. Come in and have a nice warm drink. Oh, hold on. But Mr. Crum Cousin Crumble, you've got paintbrushes in the teapot. He's been writing in his journal. What's he written here? Keep it simple. Create what makes your heart happy. Oh, thank you. And he's got a little candle lit there for us. He's keeping people in his mind. Oh, you can do some sewing as well. It's all here. Mm. Our exercise. Our exercises. Like that, Janice. Chasing squirrels, running down rabbit holes, jumping from craft to craft, getting up and down, looking for things. We just we just had a minute ago. We that, that's really I love that. <laughs> you were you're feeding the birds, you're chasing out to feed the birds, aren't you? But don't we? We're never still, are we? Up and down to get things. Mm. 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 Bengal tea, it's like a gingerbread in your mouth. How lovely. Oh, that sounds nice. That sounds delicious, Barbara. Mm. Mm. Brenda, oh yes, Brenda's back, that's lovely. And um, Bitty Penny is drinking some golden milk tea while the rain pours down. It's lovely to be, hopefully, if you, you're indoors. Mm. You're, you're enjoying a little crafty time and mental wellness. That's it, this is being together is perfect for that. Mm. Hmm. All fed and watered the birds and the squirrels early today. And hubby has an outpatient's appointment this afternoon. You've got you written down there. You're on our hearts, definitely. Hmm. This would be... Oh, Bitty, Nance knows what golden milk is. I don't know what that is. Hmm. You've got a cup of mint tea. Mm. And paying with gold paint. That counts. Mm. Actually, it, this would be a nice time. If you would like to put number, I've got another star to send out this week. A gold star <laughs> in happy mail. If you'd like to put numbers in between one and 150, while I sip my tea, mm, we don't know what that is, do we, Paula? Golden milk tea. Mm, sounds delish, though, doesn't it? Mm. It's like a little ritual sometimes, making ourselves a drink, a little bit of self-care. Mm. Pop numbers in for yourself and pop numbers in for other people. 
Mm. Turmeric, ginger, black pepper, and cardamom and milk. Oh, I think do we call that chai tea over here? That sounds yummy. Mmm. Delish. Mmm. Thank you. That's it. Popping numbers in for other people. And that's so lovely. Mmm. Mm. So I've got a little gold star. The girls were holding on to it for me. Oh, lovely. So I'm going to make another. When we have our prompts, I will make another page here. Mm. It's, yeah. Jane, it would be nice to try. We can get some chai tea. It sounds the same, I think. We can get that in our coffee shops. Mm. That's it. Karen's put a number in for sister as well. There's Chili. So nice to see you. Good morning. We're just popping numbers in between one and 150 for ourselves. And then we'll pop another in, one in for friends or family and members of our community. And we'll, I'm just going to send just a little envelope. Have I got an envelope? I haven't got one made. I will be making one. I have them. It's not to hand. I will make it later. Mm. Lovely. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Ten for Jean. And nine and three quarters for, for Janice. <laughs> right. Shall I do the... Oh, take care, Lisa. Lisa's off. Take good care, Lisa. Mm. Where are you? Take good care and we'll all find you on your um, Making It With Minglets is Lisa and she's got a new channel. So we're all going to nip over and follow her the, the start of the journey. Now, earlier on, and I don't think I said, and now I've just clocked it in my head, I saw black swans journals and I didn't say hi. Karen, that was a lot earlier. And I, it's literally just come filtered down into my head that I didn't say hi to you. Hi, Karen, are you journaling along with us? Mm. Mm. Right, let's do. Mm. Thank you for putting Jill's um, channel in, Marty. That's kind of you. Thank you. Oh. oh. Right, let's go to random number. Random number generator. Go to this, and then it's going to be nearest on or just under. So one to one hundred and fifty. Just a little flat um, happy map, and it's number one hundred and thirty-three. Who was on or nearest under one hundred and thirty-three? And I make a little heart there. And I've got 133, don't I? Mm. Thank you, Marty. But um, Lisa's channeling, that's really lovely. Really lovely. Mm. Oh, you want some tea, um, Brenda? Maybe happy you'll get that tomorrow. Mm. Mm. Oh, that, that is really near Christmas, that birthday, isn't it, Jean? Mm. We've got birthday discussions going on. Mm. Mm. Oh, did we see who had 
133. Marty, lovely. Right, let me, where did the pen just go? Oh, I had the pen. There's Marty, lovely. I should be sending Marty. Happy Mal. <laughs> Yes, Bitty Penny found Black Swan and yes, and subscribe. She's lovely. I think she might have come and gone um, or she's in the background gently listening. Oh, yes. Mm. Right, what I've got here is I've got, let me, the, engineering this magazine journal so what i i did is i folded and i made this opening and now i notice oh there's this here so what i'm going to do there's sherry sherry have i missed saying hi to you oh dear nice to see you sherry sherry's up in canada aren't you mm. I'm going to send one of these little heart um stars to to Sherry Gold um, to um Marty Gold Star Marty. <laughs> oh dear, there's Lazima. So nice to see you, Lazima. Come come in, come right in. So I thought, oh, what I'm going to do today is slot that in there. It needs to be folded a bit. Hold on while I just engineer this page. Yes. So I'm going to glue that into there. So we don't see Mr. Crumble's cafe. So I've got doors here. Am I, is this clear as mud? So you can see his cafe, but we want it to be outside. So I'm going to, without further ado, stick this page in here and we'll have some prompts and that will help me to decorate this page. Now, I will leave links below. This will be later on this evening when I sit down after dinner. I will leave links below to some of the people that have been using the prompts. Because again, there is no right or wrong. Oh, that's a nice border. And yeah, it, do your own thing, definitely. So that goes in there. And I'll sandwich that door over there. So, oh, yes. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's like it's got wallpaper. Oh, so it makes it even bigger. Oh, I like that. And then fold it there. So we've got, this will be outside. That's all outside. And then we'll open it up to Mr. Cousin Crumble's art room. There'll be something on the other side. Ah, so that means I'm engineering this. Now, so that was folded paper. Right, so just stick that down. There. Ooh, lovely. Just need to rip this down a bit more. The page is a bit big. Lovely. Shall I get some prompts? Donna, happiness and well wishes to you too. Come on in. How lovely. Oh, bye, Karen. Take good care. Take good care. Where are you off to? To make hubby's tea as he's off to Magic Club. Oh, Karen, that's wonderful. Ah, oh, lovely. You take care, Karen. Thank you for joining us today. And thank you for all you lovely replayers and gentle listeners too. Amy says she just ran in the kitchen to get some tea and noticed you had some red, oh, red chai, chai rubis, rubius. 
So he decided to join the Golden Milk Tea Club. So, oh, that's the chai tea. Lovely. You enjoy. You enjoy the healing warm powers because I know it's very chilly for you. Mm. Mm. Ah, Brenda. Mm. Brenda's having an on birthday because hers was in November. Hi, Catherine. So nice to see you. It's lovely to see you. Come right in. Mm. Paula, yes, warm with butter and, and jelly. Yes, crumpets, definitely. Right, let's get the crumpets. What's the basket? Here it is. <laughs> What's that paper engineering that I've just done? Clear. Clear as much, isn't it? Hmm. Let me see, is Julia message me? Yeah, Julia messages me to say who I've missed. Oh, extra treats. Here we are on the trolley. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. <laughs> really lovely. Mm. I think for the prompts, I'm not going to look. And then it'll help us decorate the page. It's emptying out, isn't it? Now, if you go to my community tab, Scroll down and you'll find a list of 2023's prompts curated by our lovely Julia. Lots of hard work. Put them into categories. If you want, you, you might want to make your own prompt cards if they help. Mm. Right, that's it. Let's pick some out, shall we? One, two, three, four. Five, six. We never know what they're going to be. And you might not want to do any of them. Hmm. Ah, and then I find sometimes, oh, we had this last week, or I think Susan M, you chose this one last week. It doesn't seem that long ago. Susan M would like us to use watercolour. Wonderful. I will say yes to that. Gosh, thank you. But if you don't want to use watercolour, you don't have to. I know Caroline, Dream with Caroline, might want to use her watercolour. Did you say watercolour pens? Hmm. I know. It's a little mini picnic basket, isn't it? Hmm. I love that basket too. So I've got, what have I got? Some gold. I've got this watercolour. You don't need to tell me twice to use watercolour. And I'm just in the zone with watercolour at the moment. Hmm. Let me just get some paper. Is Marty going by, Marty? Take care. That was, that was, you were just filling up the trolley before you left. Oh, Marty, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, Janice has popped a link in there. Thank you to the 2023 prompt list. Wonderful. And there is, I think, when I have to try and leave a link. There was a link for the 2022 one as well. Oh, wonderful. Mm. Now, this is another thing that's just play. Sheer play. Can you see already? Oh, it's just slowing me down. Mm. Paul is learning about watercolours. Well, I think before I used to find watercolours a little daunting because one felt, you know, had to do great landscapes. Or, but what I'm learning is now that they're just lovely to play with and. 
I can cut these into little circles or shapes or rip them up in its painty paper. So yeah, it's nice just to not be too daunted by them. Mm. There is there a duck in the um in in our prompts? There, there is because but our Barbara likes duck. So I put a duck in, in there. <laughs> but maybe that was the year before. I'm not sure. Mm. <laughs> we had a duck and aardvark, didn't we? Mm. You haven't used them before and you're experimenting. It's fun to play and experiment. That's our lovely Maria Kay. That's her little word for this year is play. And mine is create what makes your heart happy. So, oh, thanks, Colin. Oh. Colin thinks it's 10 o'clock and we won't tell him. Oh, and that's funny because it's just gone 10 Eastern Standard Time. There you go, Colin. Colin's gone transatlantic on me. <laughs> oh, dear. So if you have a watercolour set but feel a bit daunted, think about making painty paper and later on, I will rip that up and put it on my page. I'm going to be decorating this part underneath the door to make it, I don't know, to make it look wintry. Hmm, or make it look like a tree. I haven't decided yet. Hmm. Cindy, nice to see you. <laughs> Nice to see you. Come in, come in. Oh, and good evening. Yes, good evening, Sandra. So nice to see you all. It's lovely. Mm. Oh, lovely. Mm. Ruby, so nice to see you. I'm just going back here because I thought as I was doing my watercolour, I may have missed people. And I did. I did, Joyce, so nice to see you, come right in, oh lovely, come in, come and rest a while with us, mm. we're just drinking tea and just generally, yeah, just relaxing really, there's Linda, Linda Colantino, so nice to see you, I'm so glad you could join us here on the live, oh how lovely, we just started the prompts, of course, you don't have to do any prompts. Now, I'll be able to doodle on this. And this is this is how I love to play with watercolour. That, that will become something. Oh, I love my desk piling up. So thank you, Susan M, for that one. It's lovely. Mm. Oh, ho, ho. These are these um ah oh, these these prompts. Well, I never add shiny. I like this. It's just a, an old ATC card that I made or a journaling card. It's got like a little cake charm on. I remember Melanie giving me those. Just little ripped pieces of paper, and it's lovely to use it as a, a little prompt card. Add shiny. Goodness me. You can tell Janet wrote these prompts. I'm going to put some shiny on my watercolour paper. How lovely. Mm. You can add whatever shine you want, or you don't have to add any shine. You do you. Mm. Oh, bye-bye, Barbara. You take good care, Barbara. Yeah, take good care. Hmm. Cindy, it's lovely to welcome you. Take good care. Thank you for your company this morning, Barbara. Hmm. 
I've just added a little there. And I notice, hi, Shushi, Shushi Ben, come in. Welcome, welcome. So nice to see you. Come in. Lovely. Hmm. Don't let me miss people. You, everybody's always so welcoming. Hmm. That's it. Welcome in, Ruby, as well. Hmm. Hmm. What am I? Oh, yeah, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you the rest of the prompts because we're sort of getting a little bit near our time to go. So we want to make sure we've got plenty of time. You'll, this will be on my desk and I'll be able to come back this evening and play or tomorrow. I just, yeah, sometimes I just use one of the prompts, other times all of them. Let me read you some more. So the first one was watercolour paint, or whatever paint you've got, shiny, or markers, if that's what you like to do. Mary says she discovered lovely ink dyed paper with your pens that run, not water resistant. You make to-do list on scrap paper after you do it, and then you spritz them with water, let it dry. It looks like watercolour wash. Ink dyed paper with pens. So on scrap paper, you, sp you spritz the paper and then you put pens. Or do you put your pens on and then with water? Because Patty was doing something similar to that. Is it is it something like like you put your pens like that and am I getting the right end of the stick there but then you oh these do oh these do move oh not a lot but they do move a little not, not terribly much actually you need a pen you need a marker that you know is going to move, don't you? Hmm. Or oh, people say that's a neat idea. Hmm. Ink drawing and splatter. Oh, an ink pen. I've got you. I've got you. Oh, I know. I do have an ink pen. Ink pen. Take sort of here. I wonder if this one would do it. Oh, I love this pen. Such a treat. Ben loves pens. He's got a blue one. This is ink. Let's see if that moves. Oh, even that one didn't. Oh, that's this is a pilot pen. I love these ones. Well, I need to experiment with some ink and Remind me, um, Mary, we can message me later because I'm going to have an experiment with that. That sounds fun. You spritz your grocery list, an errands list. So you write your grocery list with a pen that you know is going to move and then afterwards you spritz them or, or brush water on them and then they become painty papers. Wow, that's a wonderful idea. Mm. Ink drawing splatters, your son does that, says Caroline. Ah, oh, wonderful ideas. Let me just say more prompts. So what do we have? We had watercolour, paint, shiny. The next one, brilliant ideas. Oh, make a cluster. So a cluster is you make, like, pile up the papers or the fabric and then Sew a button on or staple it. I, I like to use my stapler and then staple it on, and it just makes it really nice. Ooh, fun, fun. Painty papers. We love painty papers. Packaging. Packa packaging washi. Make washi tape out of packaging. That's fun. I think that's enough. Gosh, that's enough to be getting on with. But don't feel you have to do 
all of them. Wow. So we've got watercolour paint. That's shiny. Like a little cluster, a little grouping of something. Painty paper. And I love this one. Washi tape. So I've got some double-sided tape. Find some packaging. It can be a box or, or a bread packet or brown paper and make some washi. If you haven't got double-sided tape, you can just use glue. Mm. They're fun prompts, aren't they? Mm. Take care, Amy. Take care. And Janice needs to get going. Yes, I'll just give Freddie his treat and I'll say my goodbyes. Yes. Take good care. Let me um, let me give Freddie his little treat here. We've got a little routine, haven't we? Here you go. One. <laughs> nice. Gosh, this has been lovely. Nice. <laughs> you are funny. Mm. Oh, let me say my goodbyes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, take good care. Did you say you had a, an appointment? Hubby has an appointment, Janice. Yeah. Good care. Bye, Cindy. Down gets Freddie. Go for a drink of water. On to the next thing now. Let's go and find Sam. <laughs> take care, Pamela. Bye. Bye, Ruby. Oh, Cat oh, says goodbye and have a, a warm, cosy and creative week. You too, Cat. You too. Mm. So, she Ben, thank you so much. Yes, take a long breath whenever it's hard, says So, she Ben. Thank you so much. You take care, Lazima. Mm. Thank you for coming. And thank our lovely replayers and gentle listeners and our lovely, we've had a lovely chat. We've got together, we've done some art, chatted about food and recipes and, ah, oh, it's been lovely, absolutely lovely. Take good care, Sylvia. You have a beautiful week too. Sylvia says, have a beautiful week, friends. Yes. That's that's Fred gone. Fred says goodbye. <laughs> Jean, bye. Take good care. Mm. Bye, Paula. Paula's off to make a cup of tea. Yes. Oh, bye, Ruby. Bye, Bitty Penny. And your fairy's on the way, did you say? Or is that somebody else? I think that might have been somebody else. Oh, bye, Amy. Take good care. Oh, I know, I know. Mm. Bye, Cindy. Bye, Lin Linda C. L Linda Colantino. Bye-bye. Mm. Thanks, Ruby. You take good care, too. I haven't read quotes out to you as you go out of the door bye-bye caroline caroline's go, going out with a song in her heart hmm. often the biggest wins are made up of the smallest steps if all you can do today is take one step then take one step wrote some quotes down for us. These quotes are from this community. How far the little candle throws its beams, so shines a good deed in a troubled world. And that was shared in comments by Jim. Thank you. And that's actually Shakespeare. How far the little candle throws its beams, so shines a good deed in a troubled world. Hmm. Bye, Mary S. Take good care. Bye, Nads. <laughs> take good care. Where are we? Going back here. Paula, take good care. Hmm. Here we are. I don't want to miss anyone. Lynn, take good care. We'll be thinking about you having you in our you and hubby in our hearts. Mm. Bye, Anne. Take care. Bye. 
there's retro that is Lorna hi Lorna take good care hmm nice to see you oh you're saying hi and we're saying goodbye oh nice to see you Lorna even if it was just for a little little while thanks for popping your head round the door bye Rob Tree take good care bye Harmony mm. bye everyone bye Jilly mm. <laughs> Hmm. Right, well, I like those hugs that you said. Where's that ginger biscuit? Hmm. This is what I'm like as soon as the as soon as I put the phone down, I'm here with my cup of tea and biscuit and Fred's off to find find um Sam. Oh take good care, Becky. Take good care. Hmm. Bye. Kylie, take good care. Kylie says, peace and love to all. Thank you, Kylie. Hmm. Bye. Bye, everyone. Take good care. Tiny's like, oh, bye, Freddie. Oh, dear. He's off. Bye, everyone. <laughs>